Welcome to this month's edition of Outlook Video, your nationally recognized, award-winning show for gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender communities. I'm Roberta gonzalez Greg, And I'm Tom Smith. Well, Roberta, I see you've been busy with John Faust lately. I have indeed. I'm not sure our interviews had the same effect on John, but my mind was running wild again. We'll be bringing you our interviews with the delightful women responsible for the film, Girl Play. I understand the film won three awards at Outfest 2004, the Los Angeles Gay and Lesbian Film Festival. You're right about that. And now it also won an award for Outstanding Lesbian Narrative Feature. And both of the stars won awards for Outstanding Actresses in a Feature Film. The premiere at Outfest 2004 filled the house with 750 people and more had to be turned away. Wow, our viewers may not recognize many of the cast members, but one name does stand out. Dom DeLuise plays an eccentric stage director who one commentator wrote, might have stolen the, the movie had the two female stars not given such strong and appealing performances. It sounds like a great film that should entice our viewers. And speaking of enticements, Johnny Zitch will bring us his interview with Ruth Gibbs, the coordinator of the Gay Straight Alliance at Los Altos High School. For two years now, the Alliance has been petitioning the Los Altos City Council for recognition. Later in our show, Raymond Donald Hong offers us not one, but two film segments. Mm -hmm. First up is his review of Greg Araki's recent breakthrough film, Mysterious Skin, an adaptation of the Scott Heim novel by the same name. Raymond follows that with a report on this year's San Francisco International LGBT Film Festival. We'll round out this month's show with David Naiman's interview with Outlook Video's own Alice Heimsoth about her work with the AIDS Office of the San Francisco Department of Health. Alice is part of the important outreach to schools in San Francisco to inform kids about HIV prevention. Let's get started with your interviews with the delightful women of Girl Play. Oh, let's. This is Roberta Gonzalez Gregg for Outlook Video, and we're here in San Francisco at the Roxy Cinema for the premiere of the movie Girl Play. Stay tuned. It all started about five years ago when Rob and I. Uh, co-wrote a play about the way that we met and fell in love because what happened was Robin had been in a six-year relationship and I sort of was a one-night stander nothing extremely committal and we were cast to play lovers in a play together and as we were rehearsing we actually started falling okay, so in love. We've been doing the play Real Girls and um, we've done it for about five years and we we're always tweaking it and rewriting it. It's just a two-woman show starring me and Lacey playing ourselves and um, our lovely friend, Lee Friedlander, uh, who had Lacey had met at a casting workshop, had come to see the play. And she actually kept coming to see the play at every, every time we would do it, and really kept in the back of her mind becoming sexually obsessed with us. <laughs> so much of it was, was imagined in the play version. Lee kept seeing it cinematically because she knew that if it was on film she would be able to do a lot more. Actually as she was watching the play and she kept bugging us, we should do this as a film, we should do this as a film and so we always had that in the back of our minds that someday we might do that. Enter Lee Friedlander. We had uh, decided to do it, sh just shoot the play because it was hard to decide how to shoot it because the play was so great and what was great about the play is the two of them are telling these true, vulnerable, amazing stories and if we just turned it into a narrative movie, it would just be a movie about you know someone who falls in love, breaks up and it just wasn't what was so special about the play so that was the challenge and it started almost documentary style and then I think we got, we figured it out once we decided to shoot the play, saying, well, why don't we flash back on some of these stories, in narrative style, and then the formula came from there, and the, the tiny bit of money that we had raised to do the, <laughs> the little version of it, um, we knew we had, to, we had to have it grow, so I had known Laura and Gina from Goff Kellum from the festival circuits and their work and, and how amazing they were, so I wanted to get them involved to help raise more money and help produce it. And then Robin and I and Lacey started adapting the screenplay from their play. What makes it unique, for, I think, is for several reasons. I think it's unique because it's really them, it's true, and it's really them playing themselves. It starts out with the play, and then we flash into stories, and we intercut between the play and the stories the whole movie. So it's very, th we break the third wall, there's lots of different imagery that isn't usually done in, in movies that from flashing back and forth. It's edited uniquely. 
Um, it's just it's just a different style, I think, and also that it's them telling these amazing stories, and I think that it's so honest is what makes it so we, unique. We called him, we told him about the story, we told him there was a part and there was that was absolutely perfect for him, and he was just very gracious and and very interested, and he said, you know, of course he'd have to read the script first, but but he was totally willing to to jump in and and play this part, and once he read the script, he loved it and was just very enthusiastic and and a lot of fun too he's a great great guy uh, from the beginning we were so passionate about this project and so whenever the passion is there I don't I don't think that you look at you know we don't tend to look at things as being hard the inherent challenges have been to convince the lesbian market that this is a different film it does have a positive message and it it feels good to watch it there's a lot of humor in it and that's not uh, typical of, of the films that we've seen, I think, in our community. It's about true love, and um, the delivery is, is funny. These girls are very, very funny, and they, and they have a lot of funny things to say, and, and Lee's directing style really comes through in, in the way that she you know, shows this visually. It has so. what we won three awards at Outfest, so it was very pleasantly surprised and wonderfully received, and the audiences have been just amazing. Say, be careful when you watch it because <laughs> yeah. you're either going to break up or get married. <laughs> or you're going to realize that there is a true love out there and not settle for anything less. Robin's mom, and we're very anxious to know what, what your take is on the movie. How do you felt about I it? I felt it was very romantic, you know? It was funny that I, I just felt it was romantic. I was just thinking, oh, isn't that great? I'm so happy there. They're together. I really Thank am. you very much. Appreciate you oh, taking the time. Thank For Outlook Video, this is Roberta Gonzalez-Greg.